Hello everyone, so we are back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel 8 file upload. So here I have already installed in Laravel in my machine and also you can check here we have the form and we have one input file tag basically here you can check here we have the one input type and here I have one input type failed and I have submit button here. So now I am going to select this one choose file. So when you selected any file suppose I have already uh, Laravel 8 migration folder I have created something so I have this file so now I am going to submit this one so you can check here we are also showing here we can check which file are uploaded and also uh, we can upload the file using Laravel like this one so how this is happening so I am going to show you step by step everything so let's start so now I have written code so I am going to show you how this is working so now you can check here we have the form and we have applied the action here and we have method which is which is post and here enc type hope so you are aware about why we need to write this one so basically this is uh, because wh whenever we need to upload any file any document so we need to type right here enc type multipart form data something okay so now we have the field here which is for the image uh, why I am using I am going to explain you because whenever a user submitted the file okay so we are printing here basically how this is a base URL okay and this one is the session we are getting uh, here the file name something okay so we will get the URL from here and also we printing here the file name so once user are uploading file from where this one the we have the file type equal to file and here we have name equal to name uh, name basically is file so now also we checking if any error occurs then we are printing here like anything so suppose we have the different files so how this will work let me show you suppose we have the different file suppose this is basically different things so this is not showing let me select any other one so we have mm, basically this ppt but we don't we don't have permission basically the file is uh, the file file to fail basically to upload the file so now <coughs> why this is happening let me show you something because we have the controller we are passing data here okay so now we have here you can check where we are passing from here we have the validating basically here file is required and maximum size is this one so here some limitations we have given also if you want to put some uh, kind of extension like if you want to upload png if you want to jpg jpg any kind of file type if you want uh, i'm talking about the image basically right now here you can give the permissions like if you want to any kind of file permission something you can also check from the laravel website okay so now we have this kind of activities we are doing here so now if anyone hitting this one request and validating we basically then we are passing otherwise uh, we will get error hope so you already seen that and here what we doing here suppose time is time basically you are raising here the present time and uh, the present time we hope of we are uh, extensing the file name basically okay so once uh, we will get file here we are passing here basically this is a public path we have already okay so i'm going to show you where the file is there you can check here from public folder we have public folder inside the public folder we are uploading this file we have the multiple file uh, files right now here you can check here so now uh, suppose uh, once i will remove you can check here so let me show you something so once the file is successfully uploaded then we uh, basically uploading here and we passing data with success message and with file name which is this one okay so now once uh, form submitted then we are printing here you can check here uh, basically where is this one here we are uh, using one image tag basically here with session and file name is here so this is coming from here okay you can check here we are passing here with file and the success message also is there you can check here we have the success message yeah you can session uh, check here we have session and we have the success message we are passing from here so hope so this is clear and uh, also one more thing from route how this is working we have the action method here and we are passing here uh, okay where the post we passing so you can check here uh, in route basically we have the web.php and from the web.php we 
already calling uh, our controller and functions so this is our controller which is a home controller and we have the store method so where is the store method we have a store method is here you can check here so now hope so this is clear if you want a more description about this video please let me know so i will uh, create another video i will show you realistic example okay so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video